Okay, and for this next experiment, we want to actually see what kind of protection we're going to have from coating the paper with polyurethane. One side we have coated. This side we have coated on the front and the back. This side is uncoated. Okay, I want to see how will it protect the paper. Cut it so we'll have a couple sheets to, to run experiments on. The main thing is how will it do with resisting water on it. Just let that sit for a while and we'll see what happens from there. As a matter of fact, this next little spot, okay, this spot at top, okay, at 2.30 back and check those in a few minutes and see how it's holding up. Time now is 2.55. That's been 45 minutes. And this is the results. The paper is soaked through. It is paper. The sheet that we sprayed with the polyurethane withstood the water. Side spray with the polyurethane at the 45 minutes, still beat it on. That part may have not had a nice enough coat. This part is, is pretty, pretty dry. Like it may have had some saturation, just kind of get started there. But for the most part, said so that there may not have been a good coating. But for the most part, polyurethane did protect plain paper. I do believe that will be good enough. I do believe that will protect the printed image as we proceed with the next step. So there you have it. The clear stain from polyurethane. This happened to be Minwax polyurethane, clear satin, and that's the protection. That's after 45 minutes. So we do recommend coating your paper whenever you're using paper. And on to the next step.